Hey guys, Mr. Mises here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about monotonic sequences and um, how to determine if a sequence is bounded, um, either being bounded above or bounded below. And then if it's bounded above and below, then it's bounded. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about is a monotonic sequence. And I don't really like the way I've written this written here. Um, so I'm gonna scratch out these nons and just say, a monotonic sequence is one that's either always increasing or always decreasing. Now you could say non, and that just means that it's not decreasing, it's gonna increase, or it's not uh, decreasing, it's increasing. But basically what we're saying is that the sequence has to always get, I mean, if the numbers always get larger, basically every uh, term in the sequence is bigger than the previous term, then it's always increasing, that's monotonic. If it's always decreasing, then that's monotonic. Um, if it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, or it goes positive, negative, positive, negative, then that's that's not monotonic. Um, a sequence is bounded if every term is going to be either, um, okay, if it's bounded below, if every term is bigger than a certain number, and it's bounded above if every term is less than a certain number. And if it's in between, meaning it's bounded above and bounded below, in between two things, then it's called bounded. I'll show you an example, and I'll, I'll kind of go through real quick where it's bounded above and bounded below and so forth. So here for this one, we've seen this one before. This was the one that was, um, in the last video, it went 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, and so on. And this one... Um, goes 2, then 4, then 2, then 4, then 2, then 4, then 2. So it's not always increasing and it's not always decreasing. So this is not monotonic. Monotonic. Ton. Mono. Monotonic. Mon what? That says moto motoonic. Monotonic. Okay, not monotonic. Um, but notice that um, it is bounded above by 4, right? It's not going to get any higher than 4. So it's bounded above by 4, and then it's never going to get lower than 2. So it's bounded below by 2. So since it's bounded above and bounded below, this is bounded. All right? So um, what about number 10 here? So if we write this out, This is going to be uh, 1 and then 4 thirds and then um, 6 fourths and then 8 fifths and then 10 sixths and so on. Okay. Now notice that um, this is the smallest value that this is going to be is going to be 1 because these get bigger. See, this? these get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Um, 10 sixths is uh, 5 thirds, right? So um, they're getting bigger. And um, if you remember here, the limit as n approaches infinity, let's first talk. Is it monotonic? Yes, it is because it's always getting bigger. I just said it's always, it's always increasing. So this is monotonic. Now, it's always increasing. Um, it's never going to get bigger than... Um, right, it's gonna, it's never gonna get smaller than one. One is where I start from, and then if I, as L, as the limit as n approaches infinity here, it's got a horizontal asymptote of two. So this is actually not gonna get any bigger than two. So this is gonna kind of keep going and go closer and closer to two. So this sequence, and I shouldn't draw a line. A sequence, you know, are dots. A sequence is gonna. This one's gonna go to two. So this one is bounded. It's bounded above by 2 and below by 1. And if you notice that any, the, you should kind of see here that a monotonic sequence that's bounded above and below, so that's bounded, is going to converge. It's going to converge to this, this value here. Or maybe not, to, to, maybe it's converging less than that. I don't know, but we know that it has to converge anyway. There's a theorem that says so. Um, basically, it says that any sequence that's monotonic and bounded must converge. So let's look at this one. One, 
one half, one third, one fourth, and so on. So this function, uh, I'm sorry, function, I don't know why I said function. This sequence, this sequence is monotonic. And it's monotonic because it decreases, right? It's one, then one half, then one third. It's always going to be smaller each term. And notice that the highest value it's going to be is one. And these are always going to go down, but they're never going to get past zero. Like this is always going to be positive. So this sequence is bounded. It's bounded above by one and below by zero. All right, last one here. Let's write this guy out. One half, four thirds, nine fourths, sixteen fifths. Um, one half, four thirds, nine fourths, sixteen fifths. It's getting bigger and bigger, so it's increasing. So this is monotonic. Monotonic, okay. However, um, one half, four thirds, nine four, six sixteen fifths, and so forth. Um, it's bounded below. It's bound, and I'm going to write this here in red here. <clears throat> um, it's it's bounded below um, by one half, right? Because one half is the lowest it's going to be. Um, but as it gets bigger. It's going to keep getting bigger. This n squared on top is going to, if I took the limit as n approaches infinity, I'm not going to approach anything. It's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So it's not bounded above. So we're going to say that this function is, we can either say it's not bounded, or we can say unbounded. Oops. Um, it is bounded below, but it's not bounded above. And in order for, some, for a sequence to be bounded, it needs to be bounded above and below. And you know what, guys? I'm sorry if I kept saying function. I should not be saying function. I don't know why I'm saying function. Um, mm, don't say that. The, we're not dealing with functions. We're dealing with sequences. Um, and this right here, this is the explicit formula for the nth term of that sequence. We're dealing with sequences. So if I said function, I am sorry. Erase that from your memory. Doot, 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 doot. Gone. We're talking about sequences. All right. Okay. So that's the end of our sequences video. We'll see you soon.